Hi, this is Carrie Allison, QI coordinator for the Alabama Department of Public Health. This is another refresher video for the CQI program. This is on the cause and effect diagram or fishbone diagram. Um, so the fishbone diagram looks like what you see on the slide. There are several buckets that you'll need to label. Um, the buckets that are labeled um, in the slide are just suggestions for what you could use or keywords to help you think of what you should label them. Um, so essentially what you want to do is ask all staff members that are involved in the process to write down their concerns or uh, pain points in the process and just kind of put it on a sticky note, put it on this fishbone um, so that you can collect input from all of the staff members. So we're still in the solve phase and we're trying to understand what the issues are that various people are um, experiencing as they go through the process. Uh, just a quick example of one we've done with ADPH. This is the cause and effect analysis for the contract QI process um, that went through a QI cycle in 2017. Um, and as you can see, the the entire fishbone is covered up. You can't see the fishbone anymore um, because we had a lot of really great feedback in the short two weeks that we requested input from our staff. So if you have a lot of feedback like that and you're, you're kind of trying to figure out what to do with it next, um, we, you can use this 2 by 2 ranking matrix to categorize those or prioritize them um, based on the impact or severity of the problem and the frequency of the event. Now remember when you use these 2 by 2s that you need to set your scale, so set your middle point um, and kind of define what is high frequency and low frequency, what is low impact and what is high impact to you. Um, so that you can then start trying to divide up those issues that you've identified through your cause and effect and you can focus on the issues that land in box one first uh, as you move forward. And in the next refresher, we'll talk about what to do with those. So this concludes the CQI refresher on the cause and effect um, analysis.